So $3 from Hot Mustard Gas 20. Any tips on how to get into cloud security? Yeah, I mean, so I guess the first thing is, are you, um, you know, are you, are you working right now? Where are you working in right now? Um, with a lot of the cloud certifications, a lot of them you can kind of just start getting into. I mean, it helps to have that foundation of, you know, things like Network Plus and all that kind of stuff. Um, but um, really just start getting those cloud certifications. That's going to be the best way to do it. Um, and then also start playing around with the cloud platforms. Um, what I would do is I would pick a specific platform, though. I wouldn't try to get, you know, all the different platforms. I would just pick one. Um, for me, if I was going to pick one, I would pick AWS. Um, but again, it kind of just depends. So, um, you know, with a lot of the, the different stuff, if you kind of look at the companies and where they're implementing it, um, AWS is a lot of the... Um, you know, very developer focused kind of stuff, it seems like, um, at least as far as the companies where they're doing, uh, where they're using it. And then when you have like Azure, Azure seems to be like a lot more of the infrastructure that people are starting to implement in the cloud. So I know that they have other stuff in there too, like different specialties and stuff too. But, um, you know, just pick, uh, let's see, oh, you already have cloud certs like AWS security cert. Okay, cool. So uh, are you interviewing already for, um, for cloud security jobs? Um, you know, cloud, cloud security, cloud, it's a lot about automation. So especially I would look at, try to find ways that you can exhibit what you know. So I'm assuming you haven't worked in cloud before. Um, so the more that you can show what you know, so did you have AWS already? Um, you know, do you have an AWS account? Are you spinning up projects? Something like that. Because the more you can show, the better. If you can, uh, do you have a blog? Something like that. Or um, you know, making, uh, making videos. So you know, a walkthrough video of how you did something specific in AWS. Um, all that kind of stuff, the more that you can show, the better that you're going to look. Because, you know, if an employer just sees a certification and sees two resumes, they look pretty similar, it's going to be hard to distinguish between the two. But if you have a website with like a blog or some videos on there of you doing something, or you have, you know, you have something that you can show, um, that really helps out. Yeah, don't have, don't have a blog or GitHub though. Um, yeah, I, I'm telling you, look, look at starting that, see what you can do as far as that to show. Um, because, you know, anytime, with, this is with anything, if you don't have experience, it's hard to get experience, you know, in the jobs that are entry level that want experience, right? It's kind of the chicken and the egg kind of thing. Um, especially with cloud, because you can, you know, with AWS, you can get that free tier. And you can do some certain things like very low cost too. Um, and just the more you can show, the better, for sure. 